Hey everybody and welcome back to our Farming in the Alps series here on Erlengrot. Hope you guys liked the first video which was a little bit of a kind of a farm tour and uh, kind of talk a little bit about what we're going to do, where we're going to go. I spent yesterday cultivating the field to our south and uh, we've got a fair bit of this field carved up already. Like I said we're going to be digging up the grass that's in this particular field and uh, what I wanted to do is I want to look and see we've got nightshade and grass get that on back and running and once we get to the end of this row and turn around we're going to take a look at the season's crop rotation I've already uh, kind of plugged in a a uh, S rotation for the lower field let's see maybe what we might get our best crop benefit out of this particular field. And we're going to talk a little bit about crop rotation in general because quite frankly I think I think players maybe put a little bit too much effort towards worrying about crop rotation schedule and their fields. Alright, so with that running, go and get our seasons menu, go to the rotation. So the other field, previous, previous, was root, and then the previous was nightshade. Um, so I basically toggled, toggled, toggled through all the various options, see what my options were as far as best yield. And what I got was oil seed. We can either do canola or sunflowers in that field and based on these previous two crops we can expect to get a 1.0 uh, yield out of that or basically a a, a perfect yield so that's what we're going to go with probably that field down there back again this is nightshade and grass so let's toggle this so it says nightshade and let's toggle it to grass and then let's see what we get. 0.96 is the best so far. So, basically, a cereal crop is going to benefit us most in this particular rotation. We're going to get a little less than standard yield as a result. The wheat, barley, or oats. Um, we could do corn in here. Do 0.96 because corn is classified as a cereal. It's a little interesting. I thought corn would be more classified as a grass uh, than a cereal, but okay. I'm not a crop expert, but. What else we've got going on here? Yeah, cereal crop is going to do us best in here. So let's just barley this particular rotation. Now let's talk about rotations in general and why I think folks maybe just put a little bit too much concern into rotation. And I think what it is 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 this mentality of always having to get the absolute best absolute best yield I must have the best yield must 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 increase my bust no so to be quite frank I don't really care about the crop rotation I just honestly typically just throw crops in and the yield I get is the yield I get now if I know I have to plant particular crops I might look and see how that might work. Um, I might know that, let's say I've got to do, I've got pigs. So I know I got pigs. So I might want to do a cereal, and then I might want to do an oil seed, and then I might want to do a, a cereal again in corn. Okay, so I know if I do that rotation, okay, corn, wheat, sunflowers, uh, I'm going to get a little bit, I'm going to get 100% 
if the field is completely blank slate, feral, feral, as the previous and previous, previous. I put wheat in, I'm going to get a 1.0 yield. Okay, I'm going to get a base yield off of that first harvest of wheat. If field is basically a blank slate, the way fields get blank slated is if they have previous, previous of Pharaoh, and then previous of Pharaoh. So I'm going to get a 1.0 on this. And then... Pharaoh, follow, follow, follow here. This is going to be the exact rotation. Follow, follow wheat. Okay, I'm going to get 20% bonus. Sorry, I'm going to get 1.2%, 120% yield off of that first wheat. I'm going to get a 1.2% bonus, 20% bonus off of that first sunflower harvest. And then we put this into corn. And then I'm going to get a 14% a bonus off the corn because I've got wheat, sunflowers, corn. And then if I end this rotation, then we're going to get a 5% hit on our yield with wheat. We're only going to get 95% of the yield basically by following it with having the previous previous crop sunflowers and the previous crop corn but wheat in again it's going to be a 0.95 yield but follow that with sunflowers we're back up to 1.20 follow that with corn we're up to 1.14 and then we're back to wheat five percent hit but as as a rotation i'm up 34 percent minus five percent so i'm up 29 percent over those three years from a base of you know base yield, so I'm not really worried about that type of a rotation. Let's see what this field is. This field is oilseed in legume. That rotation, oilseed, legume. So if we put in wheat in that field, we'd have a 20% bonus. But grass in, we'd have a 95%. Oil seed is 1.08. All of that up with corn, have 1.2. Might put corn in these two. This was again. Nightshade and grass. Nightshade, grass, corn is 0.96. The legume corn is 1.20. So nightshade grass. There. Uh, so let's go to oil seed. Corn. Zero this rotation out. Of course, what this means is, yeah, you know, we're going to do these three crops, and then we're going to come back up and do these three crops, and that's what this rotation would be. I'm gonna hire. I'm gonna hire a helper here. Guy lined up. Jump back here. Farm. Raining. And let's talk about these fields. Kind of plan out the crops on these fields. So this was a failed. I don't know. It's, Happened before I am the one. Farmer tried to put in. A, <laughs> looks like to try to put in a uh, cotton crop, but why they did that? 
So we have four previous and previous press. Thought about putting a cereal in here earlier. Like that would be a good rotation. Even if we let's do this, let's put cotton in. You know, someone's gonna say, well, we have pre before previous of grass, we have previous of a root crop. This is clearly cotton, right? So cotton is the could also be in there, right? Grass root cotton. Cereal, 1.14. That just kind of enforces that general idea. Doing that. What I'm going to do is we're going to make a little cheat sheet. I will forget. Uh, we're going to make a planting schedule. What we're going to do. A little notepad up here. And sunflowers. Barley. Corn. They were fields 23, 24, and 25. Some flowers was field. Barley was field 24. And five. Corn. It's fine. We need, we need corn for our pigs. We need sunflowers for our pigs. So there we go. Uh, this field. Four. Eat. Need wheat for our pigs and our chickens. Work. Uh, field three then, and then field. Then what I'm going to do is I'll obviously, obviously I have to have these in order. So I'll come back here and put them in order. A little bit. All right. So this is cereal, oil seed. Go here and just do a cereal, oil seed. Another thing that some folks uh, seem to get hung up on is they think that they have, they think they can only have four rotations. This is just a planter. It doesn't lock anything in stone. In fact, your yield, even if you don't use this planter, is locked into stone um, based on how seasons is going is planned out to do it. Planter is going to visually show you. The yield the seasons is going to give you based on the previous and or previous and then let's put in cereal again right cereal oil seed cereal cereal oil seed cereal and what do we got thoughts about putting in um something in here whatever doesn't really matter Soybeans in here, we could put sunflowers in here and get a good yield. Uh, corn wouldn't be the, I mean, it would be a fine yield. This field. Grass, oil seed. Cereal. And then. So 
what I'm going to do is I think we will do on field two is corn. And field three will be sunflower. That. That will be our crop rotation for the first year. That on my other screen. Come back here to this and uh, we'll finish it off. Locker in. Uh, I'll save this field planting schedule. Like rot. Now we have that saved, and then we can reference that in later videos as we are planting our crops. I'd say I was going to title this series Alpine Farmer. <sighs> Rasnick beat me to it. Got his first video out on Friday. Coming out next Wednesday. So I just didn't feel right about calling it Alpine Farmer at that point. So we're going to call this Farming in the Alps. It flows a little less well. but It's the point across. I have to say, farming over here and... I've had lots of time to spend going up and down the field and you know, just looking looking at the distance hard to see it a little bit too close but that resort that's up there seeing the cable cars that are going up and down the mountains over there looking at that bridge with the trains going across gives you a lot of activity uh, kind of pay attention to and a little bit of a distraction especially if you're out here and it's getting kind of dark and the lights turn on you see the cable cars going up the mountains You've got blinking red lights on top of the towers short way up there short way up there on the hill lights up It is a uh, nice, nice place to be. What I'm going to do is let's jump into a little bit of a time lapse as we finish up our subsoiling of this field, which also moves the need plowing requirement if it exists on this I think it does so we've got a need plowing requirement we do get a state of fertilization from plowing that grass under fertilization state there also need to do lime this one we're gonna field 25 we're gonna put corn in uh, we're gonna need to cultivate this because our corn planter does not cultivate and you have to subsoil that field uh, four is going to need plowing so we need to do that one uh, two we're going to need to cultivate that because we're going to put corn in now field three we can just plant straight on because we've got the Rita sunflower I don't know if our I think our cedar does sunflowers I think I need the planter for that too so like we're gonna have to cultivate all 
all six of the fields that we own at this point, either to clear the plowing state or to prep feed bed. So that's fine. Do is hire off the helper and uh, they can some of the job for us of subsoiling while we'll focus on some lime spreading in the next video. So like I said, I'm going to close out with the time lapse and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the time lapse. Uh, you might see something uh, you don't want to miss. Never know what kind of antics I might get up to. But until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.